Hello, Cancer, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I'm here doing your nightly reading. Yay! Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone. I hope you're having a great weekend, Cancer. I just took like a two hour nap. It was awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. It was awesome. You could just be doing like really simple things for yourself this weekend, Cancer. Maybe getting some really good rest. I see you um, pampering yourself a little bit this weekend, okay? Anyway, just take what resonates, Cancer. Leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Thank you. Um, thank you for the comments, the confirmations. You guys keep them coming. I love them. Um, I love your comments. I do, Cancer. I got to tell you, um, you make me laugh and you make me cry. So... <laughs> Thank you so much, Cancer. I love you. You just mean so much to me. All right. So, Cancer, I got to say, um, you have so much spiritual protection right now. Spirit is really focusing on you and making sure that your enemies get their karma. Okay? Anyone who tries to um, attack you now in any way, they're going to get major karma, like, immediately. Okay? Okay? Um, there is a person from your past, this is, it's a masculine energy who's very much a tyrant. This could be somebody who's a narcissist. This is somebody who feels like they must control you all the time. Um, they're very much a bully. They could have tried to control some aspect of your life. I'm not really sure, but this person, um, I feel like they keep with their spiritual attacks or they keep trying to... Um, sabotage you behind the scenes. They're very upset about your intuition. So there may be some things that you know about this person intuitively, and they may see that as a threat because you seem to be right about everything that you're picking up on, okay? Um, and this person continuously tries to do things um, to either like you slow you down uh, any kind of progress you could be making they could be trying to control your finances they could be trying to um you know ruin other connections with you um this is somebody who watches you nonstop, and they just don't stop meddling in your business and i feel like you're not doing anything to this person you're very innocent um but uh look spirit is They've already warned this person, touch not my anointed ones, right? There's already been a warning issued, and this person is one of those people that aren't going to listen. They may think that they're larger than, than God, okay? This person is very, uh, very much in their ego, very arrogant, thinking they, like they have a right to control you and control your life. I don't know who this person is. I feel like it's an ex that you were dealing with. And maybe it was all you could do to break free from them and the, the energy that they created around you. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this person wanted you to believe that they should have some kind of control or they wanted you to be believe that they were above you in some way. But they're not. Your ancestors are not leaving this person alone. Okay? In in continuing to try to do this to you and make you, you know, like try to control any aspect of your life, th these ancestors are like going into this person's house, haunting them in their, in their home, in their sleep. This person now, I feel like they're afraid. Spirit's not playing when it comes to you, okay? And when the divine puts down that rule, when God says, touch not my anointed ones, God's very serious about that. So this is one of these people who is going to be brought down. They're being brought down by your spirit guides because you know what? This isn't, this isn't checkers. It's chess. Like um, this person thinks that they're really smart in planning, plotting, strategizing against you behind your back. Okay, they are, and so far, it's like they, it almost seems like they've succeeded little by little. Like, this, this is somebody who has kind of kept you stuck, who has already um, meddled in your, in, your, in your business, right? They have already sabotaged things for you, and Spirit is saying enough is enough. 
you're anointed. This is high priestess energy. This is what spirit has clearly pointed out to these people that you specifically are not to be touched. They've clearly pointed it out to this person. But they think that they have more power than God. And God, I'm telling you, God and your, your spirit guides, your ancestors, they're bringing this person down. I feel like they're kind of, they're kind of afraid now, you know, and they may be thinking that you're causing this to happen because they, they're actually seeing you now as a very powerful being. Okay. They're seeing you now, um, as that intuitive light worker energy. Okay. And there's, there's like nothing they can do to stop your abilities. There's nothing they can do um, to slow you down anymore. But they, they continue to try. Yeah, this person is being brought down to size by your spirit, by your spirit team. So it feels like ancestors and, um, ancestors and spirit guides are attacking this person. So... I just picked up on that you're going to get some new spirit guides, okay? Um, and I picked up on that earlier. I don't remember what reading it was, though. But you are about to get this person's spiritual team, okay? Because this person is so toxic. They've, they're, they're, they have this toxic, dark energy about them that they don't seem to want to let go of. This person doesn't want to change they don't want to look at themselves. They just want to keep messing with you, you specifically. Okay, so since this person is so negative and is showing no sign of wanting to change in the future, the spirit guides that they have can't be around that kind of toxicity anymore. So these spirit guides, this person's guides are starting to come to you now. So I feel like you could get like two new spirit guides here. See these orbs? Two new spirit guides. You're kind of, you got this look on your face like, what is that? Um, yeah, because like, there's, there's um, your spiritual team is about to grow, okay? You'll be introduced somehow, like probably during meditation, something like that. And I feel like... Spirit is putting you on some kind of forefront or they're, um, it's almost like they're, they're putting you at the tippy top. So like the top of your field or um, this is like that maybe that your business is going to start growing or you're finally going to be picked for something. You know what I'm saying? You're about to you're about to experience like a lot of forward movement, maybe being in the spotlight. You could be um, starting a new project as well. I'm seeing possibly three forms of income. Yeah, Cancer Spirit is uh, raising you to a whole new level. This is like being exalted, okay? You're being exalted out of this negative energy that this person keeps trying to cause you. Um, and spirit is bringing you up level so that they can see it happen. It's almost as if spirit is slapping this person in the face, you know, for real, like throwing it in their face. You think you can bring cancer down? We're going to show you how far we can bring cancer up. Okay. This person's, they're being haunted cancer. This person's got a lot of spiritual activity around them, especially at night. Um, they could be having nightmares as well, but um, they're scared. They're, I, they, I feel like they intuitively know that they're getting this. This is karma. They're getting their karma because they won't stop. They just, they're relentless in trying to attack you. This person is, I feel like they constantly try to think of ways to ruin something for you here, Cancer, with the Three of Swords. But they can't. See, this is what bothers them, is that you're so solid. Um, that spirit's got you so protected. That no matter what they do, you keep having a win. Okay? That uh, they want to wreck your stability. Or maybe they want to ruin the way that you make money. I don't know. 
it may have something to do with money. Maybe this person was trying to control your money or they could have owed something to you and they have to give it back. You know, they, they've, got to, they've got to let you have what spirit wants for you. They don't have a choice. They absolutely hate it, too, that you're out here having wins. Okay? Um, they can't stand your intuition. They can't stand that you're, you're going to be stable and independent. Yeah, see? And this person, like I said, I feel like nighttime is horrible for them. Because the divine won't leave this person alone. So they haven't been sleeping. They're up all night. They're um, kind of going crazy with anger and frustration because there's nothing they can do to you. Spirit won't let them. They're very frustrated. Yeah, there's that jealousy. Okay, jealousy because they want to do something. They want to they stop your progress. They want to make sure you don't win. This person is like... They just don't stop attacking you, you know, and they don't have a right to do that. It's not their life. Yeah, Spirit warned them, you're the blessing here. You're that light worker. You're a light worker. You're in this warrior energy here. This is you bringing out that warrior in you. Okay, I'm also feeling heavy protection here with this. I don't know, you may have um, a, a female ancestor, maybe a passed on loved one, who's really um, given this person what they deserve. I'm telling you, I'm just going to say it like that. High priestess energy, anointed, these people must not touch you. Yeah, touch not my anointed ones. And that's what this person keeps trying to do is harm you in some way or slow your slow down your progress in some way they're messing with a divine plan for you and spirit is bringing this person down bringing them down okay they're not allowed to mess with you cancer and the divine is not playing when it comes to you This person could have, like, fallen into their own trap for you as well. I feel like you've been following your intuition. Yeah, you know what? They wanted to make sure that you had nothing, that you were never going to accomplish anything, that you would never reap any kind of reward for any of your effort. This person could have even tried to get you fired from a job. They could have gotten in the middle of other connections and ruined that for you. I feel like whatever you have going on, right, any blessing that comes to you, this person wants to ruin it, and they can't, okay? So right now, this person is experiencing heavy, heavy karma for messing with you. They could be losing jo a job. They could be losing their money very quickly okay they could be having some problems with their house or their home this person could even end up getting evicted they could lose their health their stability their whole foundation as they know it it's all coming down okay spirit is i'm telling you spirit promised they were removing the blockages this is a big blockage that blockage is being removed period dot okay however spirit is doing it if they're making their life so busy with problems cancer problems issues left and right tower moment after tower moment i'm telling you their life is so busy trying to hold it together that they're not going to be able to focus on what you're doing this enemy here this narcissist they're being brought down and cancer you are being extremely protected here okay so i feel like just keep having faith that spirit is actually fighting your battles for you behind the scenes okay let's get some oracles for you spirit what can you tell me for cancer I feel like spirit, uh, God is angry. God's big mad that people won't leave you alone for crying out loud. And it's not even 
they have no right to even be in your business anymore. They have no right to try to control any aspect of your life. Yeah, and I feel like you know who it is that I'm talking about. There could even be a couple of people that treat you this way, Cancer, just know anybody trying to stop you now or stand in your way. They're being brought down and the blockages are being removed, okay? Um, this person has kept you in stagnancy, unable to move forward, okay? Unable to move at all. Like, this person is so controlling. They're a tyrant. I feel like it's a narcissist. They're constantly, they constantly have their nose and their hands in your business. Yep, and Spirit's like, no, touch not my anointed ones. What's meant for you, Cancer, cannot be taken away. What God has for you, this person can't have. They can't get their hands on it, and that can't be taken away. You are, in fact, going to get the blessings that you want. Um, spirit is going to see to that. Okay. What else can you show me here for cancer? So this narcissist is about to be removed, totally removed from your life, man. Their life is going to be such a mess, Cancer. They're going to be scrambling to try to keep their life together. And you're going to be moving forward to wish fulfillment. Um, your rainbow is coming in for you, whether this person likes it or not. This is wish fulfillment, okay? Ten cups. And things are ending for this person. They're getting, like, the death card. They're getting the end. And you're getting a brand new beginning, Okay. Yes, there's nothing that this narcissist can do to you anymore. All right. Anyway, Cancer, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Yay. Subscribe to my channel, Cancer. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.